Hello, this is Dan Olford with Arc Specialties. We have another demo for you today. The success of our plasma cutting robot has led to requests for us to cut thicker materials. In my opinion, uh, if you're cutting exotic materials, aluminum, stainlesses and such, uh, plasma is obviously the way to go. And with steel parts, uh, up to about one inch. That's where we consider plasma to become less effective than an oxy-fuel system. And so what we're doing today is we're going to be cutting some two-inch plate, cutting a beveled hole in it, and we're going to use oxy-fuel, specifically oxypropane. It seems to work a little better on this thicker part. If we have any vibration in this uh, universal robot, collaborative robot, you'll see it on a cut this thick. So the apparent cutting thickness on this part is actually going to be two and a half inches. So you see it dry running now with a, a standard oxy-fuel torch going around the part. Uh, one cool thing about using a robot rather than, let's say, some kind of a hard automation to cut these parts is the ability to start the cut. Because if you want to pierce, you want to pierce at the thinnest possible section. So obviously that would be vertical. So with a robot, you can start with a vertical pierce and then lean over. Better yet, we'd have a hole drilled in there, but uh, just to demonstrate today, we're going to, to run a pierce cut. So we've got the uh, torch ready to go, robot's ready to go. You can see the robot is held down with uh, permanent magnets. That's from our friends at MagSwitch. Uh, preheating the work surface, and then we're going to pierce all the way through two and a half inch. It takes a little bit. And now you see the robot is leaning the torch over to the bevel angle. Once it gets to that bevel angle, we'll start the rotation and then follow the cut all the way around. So the lead in was the, the cut from the pierce point. So now we've got the robot running all the way around this part. Uh, our cut thickness here is almost two and a half inches. Uh, the good thing about oxy fuel cutting, the, the torches are extremely inexpensive. Much cheaper than even the, uh, the cheapest plasma unit. So I think we've got a total investment in the cutting torch of uh, under $300 here. Inexpensive way to do cutting. You see we're cutting all the way through the part. Working our way around the circle. This would be a good application for thick pressure vessels because you frequently don't know where you want that cut to be. Where do you want to put those penetrations through your vessel until after the thing is assembled. And so at that point, uh, you can either cut by hand and do a great deal of grinding uh, because machining is not really an option. Uh, so what we're hoping is that people will see merit in this system with a magnetic base to simply drop the robot in place, pick the center of the hole, select from our parametric programming and for the diameter and for the tilt angle. So we're about to finish the cut, see if it drops. Uh, good, got to drop. There's the finished cut. Nice quality. Pretty good surface finish. So, cut about a three inch hole in the bottom. A little over six on the top. So the apparent thickness on this two inch part is almost two and a half inches. We'd like to thank our partners on this, Universal Robots and MagSwitch. Arc Specialties thrives on problems. Send us yours.